According to the CDC, in 2024, e-cigarettes were the most commonly used tobacco product of middle and high school students in the U.S. Among kids who currently use the devices, just over 26% report smoking every day. While previous studies have described the detrimental effects of e-cigarettes on the heart and lungs, new studies are detailing the impact on a young person's brain. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more about the health concerns. Good morning. Good morning. Those stats are disturbing. I mean, how big of a problem is vaping for underage kids and teens? Well, currently there are over 1.6 million school age children that are vaping using e-cigarettes. About a half a million are in middle school. Now, the CDC does report that this number is down from 2022. So we are at the lowest we've been, but that is still a really big number of kids that are being affected. And why do you think it's become so popular? I mean, there's two pieces here. The first is youth targeted marketing. You know, social media had a big hand here. These vaping products were accessible. They're discreet. They were colorful. They were flavorful. Of course, they were going to get their hands into children. And it almost seemed like they were targeting children. And then the other side of it is the susceptibility of a young person's brain to addiction. Nicotine is incredibly addictive and it makes an even bigger impact on a young person. And let's talk about that specifically. What are the effects of nicotine on the brain? Well, the first, like I said, is addiction. Now for young people, and I want to define that as people under the age of 25, you know, the brain is developing very rapidly, but the parts of the brain that are related to reward are outpacing the part of development of the brain that's related to executive decision making. So anything that's going to bring reward or feel pleasure is going to have of a more addictive nature to a young person. A recent study uh, that was uh, presented at the American Neurologic Association found a decrease in test scores, decrease in areas of memory and concentration among college students that vaped. And a recent study also led by the American Heart Association found an increase in anxiety and depression amongst kids that vape. And that's because nicotine affects the part of the brain related to mood. Now, any advice for families that discover that their child is vaping? I mean, how can they address it and help them quit? Well, the first is, obviously, you find out that your kid is doing something like this. For many parents, the reaction is anger. We want to avoid anger. We want to realize it's really, you know, not their fault and bring in as much support as possible. Uh, model good behavior. If parents are vaping, if there's nicotine products in the house, it becomes very difficult to then teach your children not to. Enroll your children in clubs, in sports. You want to replace the activity of vaping with something else. And then speak their language. There are a whole set of apps out there that are geared towards teenagers that can help them stop vaping. In fact, I just downloaded one of those apps on my phone yesterday called Tobacco Free Teens. And it's great because it speaks the language of teenagers. There's fun cartoons, you can play interactive games, and it's a great way to help support them through the process. Yeah, great advice, Dr. Kumar. Thank you so much this morning. Thank you. And remember, you can catch Dr. Kumar's segments every Monday at 7.15 a.m.